Good morning guys! I think it's about time to give you a new van tour because in the last six months we've had a new rooftop tent installed to the van we've had an entire wrap and we've done a renovation of the interior of the van if you'd like to see what the van used to look like you can check out this video here this was filmed about a year ago when we are in Utah and it shows you our original setup for the camper and if you want to see the renovation process of how we actually decked it out and created it like it is now check out this video I'll give you the tour now, let's go! changed in the cabin but there are a few things that we do want to point out that we've created one of them being um, this seat which is where Taco sits um, it's also his bed at night time he sprawls out across these three seats here and he sits between us during the day because he likes being close but it also doubles up as some extra storage so inside is where we keep my handbag we keep the camera we keep anything that looks valuable and that we want to like hide when we're not in the van and that means that we have less risk of someone breaking in if they can see something valuable. We've also got a 4G modem for Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. We can have Wi-Fi wherever we go. We just buy a SIM card at each country, stick it in, and we're good to go for the internet. And this is our battery management system. So it actually shows us how much battery we've got, how much we're charging. And you can check out this video, Alex explains more about it here. I don't really know that much about it. Inside here, is where we just store all of our um, our cables, our hard drives, our GPS, our iPad and all that sort of stuff. We just wanted to try and make it so you can't see any valuables or any of our belongings when we're not in the van. And we've also got a dash cam which has helped us in a few situations already to get out of trouble. And that's about it for the front. If you come to the back, this is where you're going to see the big big difference from what it used to be. Basically we wanted to change the entire layout here because of Taco, little buddy. We only just had space for the two of us, let alone a dog that was growing. So being like this now allows us to have all of this space for him to sit, to walk around, to lie down and play if he needs to. Come in and I'll show you what, oh and the other really cool thing that we wanted to do was have our fridge on tracks so that we could access it without having to get into the van. So check this out. Ta -da! We can access anything that we want to here. This is a really, really good idea for anyone who has an angle. It means that you can have double layer of storage in your fridge. So this makes a big difference because our kitchen is at the back. So we don't have to keep coming around, getting in the van to get what we need to do the cooking and then going back around. Close it, we just push it back in. We also put in, we put in new flooring so that there would be no cracks for dirt and sand to get into it. And we've had this for about three months now and it's still looking really good. Up here we wanted to have some extra storage on top of the fridge just to make use of this little space here. It's where we store our towels at the moment and it also gives a little space here for Taku to sit up on top of here. <laughs> it's actually one of his favourite places to sit while we drive and he'll lie down here and put his head in the little space next to Alex's shoulder and get the breeze on his face from the window. Here we have a lot more storage than what we used to. Basically it's a sliding door and all of this side is my clothing and all of this side here is Alex's. I reckon it's doubled if not tripled the amount of storage that we had in our cupboard compared to last time. We have a heater down here that we've used a couple of times. It's just a gas heater and it heats the van up really well. It's probably one of the safest ones you can get on the market. It's got a carbon dioxide sensor so if um, the levels are going too high it shuts off and if it gets off balance or falls down it shuts off as well. We've got our fan installed at the top here for hot nights like today. It makes a big difference. We've also got lighting here and here and a vent to take out the hot air at the top of the van. Now this is our sofa slash bed. It's really easy to actually turn into a bed. I'll show you. Ta da Just like that. And if we want to work or sit in it, we'll have people really sturdy. 
really safe and really comfortable. And then underneath we have extra storage as well. It's a bit messy at the moment. But this is where we store all of our tools, our first aid kit, the um, air compressor, wires. We've got an extra fan that we want to put into the rooftop tent at the top. All of our spare parts. And, and then, battery. and we also have our second battery in here as well. Somewhere in here. <laughs> there it is. We also have a little bit extra storage under here. This is just for like extra items and bits and pieces. But this is where the entrance to our water tank is. So underneath here we have 70 litre water tank with an air breather as well so we can close the lid and we can still use the water from the back. The reason why we left this shelf here open is because our heads are up that end while we're sleeping and underneath we've got a little bit more space for our arms to spread out and we still have a bit of storage on the top. So we've got our bookshelf here and just some accessories that we use from the kitchen which is where Alex is standing right now. So in the kitchen we actually haven't changed that much apart from bringing the whole kitchen down about 8 centimeters. So we actually cut 8 centimeters of these two top drawers off and we did that to be able to get a little bit more headroom so we could sit up while we're in bed. It made a really big difference. So now we can get changed in bed, we can sit up and read, um, and it just feels more spacious when we're lying down or sitting up in bed. We've got um, this storage here, which Taka has already had a go at and pulled off the carpeting, so we're gonna need to redo that one. But it's great just to have quick access for coffee things, for mugs, and our slow cookers up here as well. This is the space that I was telling you about for our arms. It just gives us that little bit of extra width to keep us comfortable at night. All right, so if you haven't seen our kitchen before, this is basically it. It's just our cooker with our extra countertop, our drawer of cutlery and crockery, which we've organized now so we can actually store a little bit more things in there. And then these three drawers are full of pots and pans and basically our pantry, so food. These are just our pantries here, like I said. Vegetables, pans, we're running a bit low at the moment. This is where we keep our pots and pans, our chopping boards and a few other of the more long lasting food items. And then in the sides we have extra space still. So here we keep our blender, all of our um, Tupperware containers, we've got a mortar and pestle in there, some coffee. And on this side is where we keep our dog food, our chairs and a few other little bits and pieces. If you look up the top here, we've got a drying line for our dishwashing and towels and that sort of thing. But it also doubles up as a holder to keep our table in place. So these two bolts here keep the table at the bottom and then we've got this little, little strap here that keeps the table in place on that back door. And, and our LED lights as well here. As I said, we have a 70 litre water tank in there and this is where we access it gravity fed or if we want to have it filtered and pressurised. We have a filter here and we actually have a pump that pumps it out here and our shower head if we want to have a shower. This is the spare wheel carrier that Alex made and basically it triples up as our dirty rubbish bag. We've also got like cleaning items and plastic bags here our propane gas tank and 20 litres of extra diesel. And then around here you just see this is the ladder that we created that's permanently attached to the van to get up to the rooftop tent. It works really well. And that's our second story up there. If you want to see more of what the James Brewery rooftop tent is like, you can check out this video here and it gives you a full tour. So this is Van to the Van guys. She's almost 25 years old. She's already driven about 300,000 kilometers. If you don't know, she's a Mitsubishi Delica 2.8 liter turbo diesel. We also have a video explaining about the car and all of the modifications that we've done on the outside. You can check that up there as well. That might be more informative for you to see. But apart from that, I think that's pretty much everything. If you like this video and if you like the setup that we've got, please give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. We've got videos coming out every week, got lots of tips and tricks and really cool travel videos through the Pan American Highway. All right guys, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye.